what just came to my mind as I said that was recognizing on a you know on a society on a global level anyway because on a societal level I could also say that um, I've not been able to engage and remain engaged with folks in a way that supports me um, with having with having sustained relationships towards building and what we do on a societal level. Because on my last job, a lot of black people got together to make sure I got fired off my job. sure I got fired and they were rewarded by the white people who all refused to answer some very pointed questions and anyway the black people got together to do this because they didn't want to answer questions either <laughs> woo and you know, it was a conspiracy. The fucking conspiracy. It's like conspiracy and intentional harm. They're, those are the two also painful reality that goes on on a societal level that I recognize too. Yet also on the societal level. So like I said, the connections for me in this, on this, the more the individual experience that I have on a societal level in terms of engagement. Um, also individually I experienced what I just said. Um, so still, communally and societally, socially, I do recognize that, because as I said that in terms of community, I thought about the calls that I get on a weekly basis from Ghana, from the continent, um, from uh, a brethren I met on the continent when when I made that journey a couple of years ago. And um, whether it's either th through the phone, they'll call me at least once a week to just check in. Hey, how you doing? I'm just calling to check in on you, see how you doing. And door through internet communication. So there, there is, and there are other folks, even here, it'd be a blog talk that I've met, and, you know, that I have connections with, so it's not like total, total isolation, nothing, you know, specific, total. So there is a percentage of contacts that I do have, and I value them and respect them and know that it's important to have, a, you know, just strength in numbers, because to just have a, a few people here and there in terms of the need that I have, it's insufficient to meet the need. It's not that they are insufficient in their energy, it is, it's not that, it's it's the, the numbers. <laughs> you know, if I set out to buy 10 oranges and I get to the store and there was only one or two oranges, then it was insufficient to meet the goal that I had. My goal was to buy 10 and there's only two available. Those two I'm gonna take and I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna enjoy I respect them, I see them, and the goal was not met. And so it's just really as simple as that, you know, when I'm talking about this uh, sense of rejection and or isolation and so forth. It, it is not a devaluation of what I do have, it's just a recognition, and it is a recognition of what I don't have in terms of the goal attainment. Now, people may say, well, it's important to focus on what you do have and build from that. It's like, well, like I said, you can't tax those two people, two, two or three people. One, the person from Ghana is not available and can't do the blog talk and listen and engage and, you know, tell other people. It's, it's like, you know, it doesn't work. Um, I have my blog talk show seven days a week. I don't expect any one person, one or two people, to be there seven days a week, but I do would like to see a following that, you know, happens on some of the days of the week, so that hasn't happened. So that's the way of sort of looking at it. It's about assessing 
you know, when you're in the process of goal attainment, you have periodic assessment points where you stop and you assess your progress, you take a break, uh, you know, get some water, you know, whatever, and, and then look at you where you're at and your pace and everything and you make adjustments as needed in order to attain the goal. And so that's what it's about. So I'm in a period of adjustment from the blog talk. I'm not doing any shows right now. And I am in an adjustment period with that as I kind of assess and evaluate what, where things are, how to best use myself and my energy towards attaining the goal that I have for myself. What is that goal? To, yes, engage the world, <laughs> as many people as I can, and hearing my story and support and, and uh, yeah, having the support to be able to tell the story and, it's, and my, recognize that my story is connected with your story. We are a reflection. There's connections that go on, you know. Uh, we live our experiences up and down the pole, up and down the pole, having this paradigm of lived experiences. And we are connected, spiritual, social, communal, familial, and individual. And it's always these dynamic processes and interactions going forth. I'd love to have someone who is artistically gifted. And I do have a family member who's, who would be able to help me to diagram out what I see when I see this and think about this so that it will help me to be able to talk about it and show it to you as well. I'm talking about trauma. I'm talking about trauma recovery. And I'm talking about national trauma. And I'm talking about something that... How do they say it? I forget how. The national crisis. It is. <laughs> it's a national crisis. And I have a plan and a program that I believe will help. To address the crisis. When people are raw, ready, able, and willing to do so. So, thanks for listening to me share.